And we're watching two states, Florida and Ohio, because quite frankly, the importance of winning either of these states cannot be overstated. No candidate has won the White House without taking at least one of them. Our next guests hail from each of these states. Former Democratic Congressman from Ohio, Dennis Kucinich, former Republican Senator from Florida, George Lemieux. And it's a jump ball right now between the two candidates, gentlemen, for both of these states. Although, really, if you look outside of the margin of error, Donald Trump is leading in both of these states by a few points. Senator Lemieux, let me get to Florida. This is your state. Uh, there is a, a different voting block that appears to be emerging. These are snowbirds, retirees who moved from their other states their home states from conservative states now live in Florida and they are starting to matter quite a bit in Florida. Could they be the key to somebody like Donald Trump if they're conservative? Liz, they could be and there's been a lot of talk about the changing demographics of Florida in terms of a lot of Hispanics moving to Florida but the point that you make is a good one. We've had a lot of retirees from the Midwest coming to Central Florida for example. There's a city called the Villages that's a, a new city that's hosting a lot of these folks and they're conservatives, they're Republicans and they're going to vote for Donald Trump and that's why you see Trump doing well in Florida and his campaign in my view in the last couple of weeks has really been well run, a big improvement from where it was before and now Donald Trump's up by three points in Florida when at one point he was down just not too long ago six points to Secretary Clinton. Uh, true, and yet uh, Latinos are a huge, important voting bloc in the entire nation. We know Florida has quite a few Latinos. Right now, uh, Hillary Clinton beats Donald Trump in the polls 66% to 20% among Latino registered voters. Uh, let me get to you, uh, Representative Kucinich. Ohio, how is it, what's going on on the ground in Ohio right now? Uh, it appears to be very much a toss up, although Donald Trump has a slight lead. I think we'll be watching election night. The uh, returns will be going back and forth, and we won't know until the wee hours of the morning who will win Ohio. It is going to be extremely close. But let me tell you about a factor that isn't getting much attention, Liz, and that is that a few years ago, when the state legislature in Ohio did the redistricting, the Democratic Party, and I know about this personally because it affected my seat, the Democratic Party agreed to a deal where they had four safe Democratic seats, the Republicans had 12 safe de uh, Republican seats, and so there's no synergy that's happening between down-ballot races like Congress creating a turnout and helping to uh, uh, pull over the line uh, the nominee. This is a problem in Ohio because the Democrats have been weakened in their ability to be able to uh, push a turnout with the help of down ballot races. Well, Ohio, with its 18 electoral votes, crucial, as well as Florida, 29 electoral votes. Uh, Senator Lemieux, what do you think Donald Trump really needs to do? Uh, at this point, though, we might start to really see many senators, many other politicians who were resistant to Donald Trump, and they start to see, well, wait a minute. He, he's, he's getting some traction in some key states, and then they perhaps pile in. Well, since Trump has changed his campaign team with Kellyanne Conway running it now, the campaign has been run a lot better. He has been focused. He has been positive. His message has been clear. Some of the distractions that bothered him in the past aren't there. So I think you're right, Liz. I think the better he does, you'll see more of the party establishment move to him. He's reaching out to new groups. Uh, like you mentioned, he's going to be speaking to Haitians here in South Florida. These are groups that the Democratic Party counts within their, their base and doesn't, frankly, pay a lot of attention to and just takes them for granted. He's going to try to exploit that. So I think you will see more establishment like Republicans support Donald Trump, campaign with Donald Trump as he does better and better in the polls. And if Secretary Clinton keeps saying things like basket full of deplorables and demonizing 25% yeah, of Americans by calling them racist, that's going to hurt her campaign. Uh, Dennis, uh, to that point, she, she seems to be where Donald Trump was a couple of weeks ago or maybe a couple of months ago, a little bit more scattered and, and tripping it up a little bit, making some mistakes here. Uh, well, I would agree that the uh, uh, quote about a basket of deplorables was uh, a great misstep for the campaign. However, uh, looking forward to the debates, uh, this is, the debates are going to make a difference in the, in the election because people will have a chance to see both candidates afresh uh, and see whether Trump can overcome his missteps and see whether Hillary can engage the voters to try to address the trust issues directly. Ohio, Florida, we have known forever that these two states are crucial. 
Good to see both of you from both of those states, Ohio Congressman Dennis Kucinich and Senator George Lemieux of Florida. We'll see you next time, gentlemen.